good afternoon. It is July the 10th and Mark and I are coming into Anchorage. Our first time to visit the city of Anchorage. It is raining and cloudy and very much a lot of traffic. when the tide is out, the sand in Turnagoon Arm might look inviting. Do not go out on it. Some of it is quicksand. You could become trapped in the mud and not be rescued before the tide covers you. Can you guys see the train tracks that ride right along this? At one point, you could be driving down this road and pass the train. Don't know what happened, but many EMS vehicles are passing. I showed you a little bit earlier the emergency vehicles. Uh, here, I'm just going to show you a glimpse. Uh, the traffic is now backed up considerably, probably for a long way. And so we elected. To go ahead and just pull in this little uh, little alcove here, and of course Cindy sees rushing water. She is a magnet for finding water. Dun, 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 dun. Tragoosh State Park Falls Creek Trailhead. So Mark and I decided to get in the line of cars so that we can possibly move down the road because there was a sign posting no camping at the waterfalls. But look how many cars are behind us now. Tide has gone out, so that's been fun to watch. I still haven't seen any whales. It's supposed to be beluga whales. Update on the traffic. We uh, have been sitting for about three and a half hours, and it's finally, uh, they've got one side cleared, I guess, so they're letting one side go, then the other side go, so we're moving slowly, but we are moving the trail cars Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is July eleventh. Uh, July eleventh. Uh, we have left Palmer and headed uh, down south towards Homer, which is on the Kenai Peninsula. And we're going to stay at a place called uh, Homer Spit RV Campground, which is basically a, a little piece of land that extends out. So it'll be pretty cool. At least what we've read on it. Uh, but this morning. Uh, we wake up after having stayed at a parking lot uh, just off the side of the road, which rest at ease everyone, uh, it is common here in Alaska. You see a, a roadside pull off uh, and if I, whenever I zoom around I'll show you too how many other campers did the same thing. We had, did have a surprise this morning, 
when we woke up, there was an LE1, an Oliver travel trailer LE1 parked next to us. So obviously they came in sometime during the night and they're parked next to us. We have not met the individuals yet, so it'll be exciting, but we did notice that the plate is from Pennsylvania. So it'll be some LE1 owners from Pennsylvania, but to, uh, to help you get an idea of what this area looks like, uh, this is the uh, turn, turn again arm. Turn again arm, uh, which if you look it up on a map, you'll see uh, you basically drive around it uh, on your way down south. We were delayed a little bit yesterday. There was an accident um, outside of a little town called Indian, I think. Indian uh, Valley. Indian Valley. And uh, so we got delayed about three or four hours before they opened the road up. But with a travel trailer, you don't worry about that too much. Um, we uh, made it this far and, and woke up this morning to a beautiful, beautiful uh, overcast day. But it's a beautiful day. It's not too cold. And uh, so not we're gonna, raining at the moment. Not raining at the moment. So we're going to split apart here and give you a chance to see what we see. Here we go. And over here, you can see the glacier kind of in the clouds there uh i looked at the mountaintop we're using an app called peak finder is carpathian Carpathian. Car carpathian peak this is kind of the way the the road's going to follow it does look like a road bed here at least on the camera but in real life it, it's silt from the glaciers that we talked about earlier kind of acts as a non-newtonian fluid so you definitely don't want to walk out there you will get stuck in it and uh, Alaska now charges you to be rescued if you do get stuck in it because so many people were, were getting um, stuck out there after the tide goes out. So the tide comes in fairly quick, Cindy was reading. Uh, sometimes there's like a six foot wall of water as it comes back into this. Um, it's pretty dramatic to see, but here you go. There's the campground or the campground, uh, the parking lot that we stayed at last night. There's no facilities or anything. Like I said, most people in Alaska are all set up to boondock, as they say. But this right here is where we stayed last night. We had a good time. And uh, next time we show you, maybe uh, along the drive down to uh, Homer or in Homer. So we'll let you know more as we travel. It is July 11th and we are going to the Alaskan Wildlife Conservation Center today. We have to stop here and pay. Do you mind being on camera? No, it's fine. <laughs> Here we are at the Alaskan Wildlife Conservation Center where you pay a mere $20 to come in and see animals that have been, um, I would rescued. say, rescued uh, in the wild um, due to various reasons. Some of what we've just recently read is, is maybe a fox, a uh, baby fox out on their own or somebody uh, had uh, inadvertently kept it as a pet and didn't know what to do with it after it grew up. So things like that. And so due to their inability to live out in the wild by themselves, the conservation center takes care of them. There was one of the animals I was just dying to see, the muskox. Man, they got a lot of hair. <laughs> they look like they belong in Ireland, if you ask me. Beautiful huh? animal, beautiful animal. Um, very interesting look to them.
Hartford Highway headed towards Homer Spit. Looking at the scenery. to get a video of inside salty dogs that's been here since 1957 and there are dollar bills just about anywhere you can find them but it is all through the area in here there's me and sit for brew Oh, she knows who he is. I remember. Thank you. Hey everybody, here we are at Cashamack Bay State Park. Cashamack Bay State Park. We uh, signed up, did a last minute. It's called the Glacier Tour. So we'll be walking uh, Glacier Lake Tour. We'll be washing, uh, walking to a Glacier Lake today. It's about a five mile hike. Uh, we took a boat over uh, across the bay here. It was beautiful all the way. I have some videos of that I'll show you. But here we are, we just uh, unloaded from the boat. I'm gonna show you what the boat looks like and the bay, and then we'll show you along the trail as we walk. Anything else? Sue? That's all. All right. Now, sides up. Sure, our sides. Time on your boat. Down. 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 Look at the glacier. Commercial for a uh, uh, fish sticks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, 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 eat fish sticks today. Alaska born and caught. First wildlife on this walk the majestic bald eagle here in Alaska. So just in case you're wondering, here is the wonderful facilities available to you at the state park. These newly constructed, or shall I say, many years ago newly constructed, uh, outhouses are effective and useful to start your journey along this five mile hike. We're here all day, so it'll be an opportunity for us. Uh, either way, here, I'm gonna walk back out to the trailhead here 
So you can see they do provide you with a bear box for any food that you don't want to take in with you. This is the uh, Glacier Spit Trailhead and Campsite in Kachemet Bay State Park. Here we are. Okay folks, we were just going to show you a glimpse of what it looks like to walk through one of the uh, trails here in the Kenai Peninsula. I swear, as you walk through it, you would swear you were in South American rainforest with the size of these plants. Look at the size of that leaf. To give you a reference, uh, here's my hand. And that leaf is about the size of, I don't know, a large dinner plate or a very large dinner plate. Here we go. Here we are midway after our turnoff, not midway, but midway through the walk to the Glacier Lake. We took a turn just a short distance back and now we're gonna walk to what they call the tram. It's a manual tram that you pull yourself over what supposedly, I guess, is a body of water, a glacier, or a canyon. We have one mile there and one mile back, so no steps involved, folks. Up on a stream of water here before we get to what's called the manual tram, and we wanted you to see it, so we're going to split apart and let you look at some of the beauty uh, that we see. Man, once again, God is wonderful, and his creations are beautiful. Here you go. Cindy has found something for us. Not steps this time. Not steps. But she always says, if people put in the effort of building, building something, you will have something great at the end. We are continuing along our path. I think it's only but a short distance away. We'll find out what Cindy has led us to. That isn't steps. This is what they call a tram. Looks like a lot of work. Hey everybody, we made it to the tram. It is very difficult to pull, so Cindy and I have elected to probably not try to go all the way across and then back, uh, just because they do recommend you have some gloves and we don't have gloves with us. I did want to take the opportunity to share uh, and let you see what we're seeing here. It's pretty beautiful, Cindy. What do you have to say about it so far? Oh. Uh. This has been an experience I wanted to do as we are been challenged by other YouTubers. So we'll let you know when we get back on the ground. We're back over there. As you can see over there, it's quite a quite a, um, a sag in this. It's not too bad, but it does look kind of questionable. Um, but it's pretty cool getting to see the water. We're able to hang out here. There's not a lot of people. So nobody's waiting in line, so we're not impeding on somebody. We get to see a little bit of the beauty we get to see here in Alaska, the Kenai Peninsula. A short little boat ride over to the state park just across the bay takes you to scenes like this where everywhere is beautiful in Alaska. More to follow. Bye. Okay, everybody, we made it. To the end of the trail or at least our destination to the lake glacier lake this is awesome it was a day trip it was a boat ride it was four miles of hiking so far um to the lake uh we did take a side uh turn to the tram you saw earlier um this has been wonderful uh we uh, have really enjoyed it we now have a couple of miles to walk back to catch the boat will be down at the beach but we wanted to take this opportunity to split apart here and show you the lake at the base of the glacier oh, 
Okay, so my feet are hot and a bit swollen from our hike. So why not go wading in the glacier water? Here I go. <laughs> See my crocs? Yep, you forgot them. Okay, folks, here we are, the last half mile section after visiting the tram and the glacier lake. It's been quite a walk, Cindy will attest to it or agree with you, I'm sure. And we're both pretty tired, but wanted to give you the opportunity to see what we're seeing here. Bring them down here. All right. I'm bringing you down here. Right here. Oh, right there. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's oh, windy it's hotter. hotter. Oh, it's a heart. It's a heart arch. Oh. You see the heart arch yeah, in the rock? The right there. Right here playing. And then uh, on top of this rock, we're going to see a bunch of seabirds. So some of them, I'll just kind of start oh. naming them off. Yes, uh, the, black and, the black and white one that looks like yeah. a penguin up there. Yes. Those are called common mirrors. Yeah. yeah. Those are super deep diving birds. They can dive down to like 600 feet in the water. And then another fun fact about them I just learned is they mate for life, but in the winter time they go separate places of the ocean in the winter, which is why I think they're able to make it, you know, ah. and stay together. <laughs> that, and then you got the seagulls. Those are the black-legged kittiwakes are the small ones, kind of more on the cliffs. And then the raucous wing gulls are a bigger seagull. You find kind of dancing more on top of the rock. Okay. And then these puffins actually find themselves burrowing into the soil on top okay. and make their nest up there. Yeah, pretty cool seeing these otters. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right, right here. here. Oh my god. That is so cool. <laughs> Okay, everybody, Cindy and I have been here in Homer for about four days. Uh, we have really enjoyed it. We've got to see a lot. Um, we've shared a lot of the video that uh, we've taken here at the state park and riding across the sound and on the spit. So I would say Homer is definitely a place put on your list once again so you can see everything. Excuse the truck as it passes by. Um, but we're going to split apart here and give you a view from the uh, uh, road 
uh, side uh, rest area right as you come into town that's kind of elevated so it kind of give you a look at the town once again Homer Alaska today is July 14th July 14th along the route today. 